All right, peace, peace, peace. Dr. Aline Bay. And um, you just got word that Bobby Dick Gregory just passed. Um, he is no longer with us in physical form. And one of the stories in which that I remember that Baba Steve Coakley told us was that he said that one of his major influences of being a real conspiracy theorist was Baba Dick Gregory. That was one of his major influences. All right. Um, Brother Insight, you know, had him on many times, many times on his radio show, you know. Um, there's no word out yet as what is going on, but we do know that um, this coming Monday, this is Saturday, all right, the 19th, and this coming Monday, the 21st, is the total eclipse, or what they refer to as the eclipse of the sun, the, the moon of the sun. Now, this might be a coincidence, but since we're dealing with conspiracy theorists, and Dick Gregory was definitely one of the top ones in the so-called black community, what we can find out and what we do know is that this happens to be, if you go back and watch the movie, um, Nat Turner, you'll find out that it was the eclipse that took place August the 21st. And during that Turner time in which that gave him the gumption or the sign from God in order to rebel. Now, it just so happens that this same type of energy is going on right now with this heightened effect of the KKK, you know, the leftists against the rightists and all of this other nonsense. That's what we're finding out. Is something in which that is very suspicious in our eyes when we start studying and looking at these type of things which is taking place. We haven't gotten word yet on what actually have happened with Bobby Dick Gregory, but we do know that he broke ground um, at the Playboys Club in Chicago and on the Jack Paws Tonight Show. Um, then became a potent activist. You know, so-called civil rights, um, new Malcolm, new Martin, you know, pioneering force in comedy, you know, in this 1960s, you know, uh, he came out in the 1980s with a vegetarian diet formula and product on which that turned a lot of the brothers and sisters during that time into vegetarians and later on vegans or whatever the case is. Um, Bobby Dick Gregory uh, was actually the motivating force behind that as he moved into the 90s and into the 2000s. Of course, you know, um, you know, we now know about, you know, Bobby um, Sabi. You know, which I've been knowing about him since 1987 um, in, you know, in New York. I was living in Harlem. And he put a news ad in the paper in which that stated that he can cure AIDS and all different other um, diseases. In which that led to the Supreme Court case in New York. But Bobby Dick Gregory already was doing the vegetarian thing um some time before that, in which that went nationwide. All right, so um, we definitely got to give big ups to um, Bobby Dick Gregory because he brought that type of energy in. What we do know is that, you know, he passed. They have not said yet of what he passed from, but um, he was 84, 
all right, 84 years old. We know that um, Baba um, Sabi was 82 years old, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, um, we got some leaders, and we're going to need some new leadership. Um, leadership in which that has passed on. We got some new leadership in which that needs to step up. All right? And um, basically, the, the family just issued a statement saying it was an enormous sadness that Gregory's family confirmed that the father, comedic legend, and civil rights activist, Mr. Dick Gregory, departed the earth tonight in Washington, D.C. His son, Christian Gregory, said via a statement that his father, um, for his father's right, that the family appreciate the outpouring of support and love and respectfully acts for their privacy as they grieve during this very difficult time. So this is what is taking place and um, basically went on and says that he was one of the sweetest, smartest, most loving people one could ever know. All right. And his publicist of 50 years, Steve Jaffe, um, tells THR, I just hope that God is ready for some outrageously funny times and full statements and um, basically details of Gregory's funeral will be released Sunday. So that is tomorrow. And according to August the 17th statement ran by his son, um, Gregory was released from the hospital. He was being hospitalized and they said that he was in critical condition but yet stable. All right, that was just two days ago. Um, that was on Marcus Garvey's um, birthday. All right, just trying to put some of these things together on what is taking place here. All right, so this is what is happening. And we're going to keep following this story until we find out uh, what is possibly the cause. Hopefully, it's something that's not as crazy as when um, the brother passed form prodigy that he choked on a piece of egg or something like that. So we're going to continue finding out what is taking place. Um, hopefully, we'll do a um, show, follow-up show this coming Wednesday. All right, so we'll see you then. Peace.